I am hungry. No one comes to feed me. I am uncomfortable. No one comes to soothe me. I cry, but no one hears me. Is anybody there? Silence. From the day I was born, I've been faced with challenges. I was born with a cleft lip and palate, and then neglected and abandoned at an orphanage in Russia. When I was adopted at two and a half years old and brought to America, my palate was fixed, but I soon ran into new challenges because of the ways extreme neglect affected my brain development. I've always been emotionally challenged because I have a hard time with trusting others and forming relationships. At school, I was always smart, but before AVID, I used my intelligence to get into trouble. <laughs> I was often found climbing on top of lockers, jumping down whole flights of stairs, and shouting down the hallways. Life was out of control, and I was causing pain to my family and friends. I continued to go from medication to medication, and therapist to therapist, to help control my behaviors. It helped, but I struggled a lot until the day I joined AVID. I remember my first day of AVID being so full of energy, and there was this positive vibe throughout the room that was contagious to anyone who stepped in the doorway. I loved it, and I knew I wanted to be a part of it. More importantly, I wanted to be an avid because I wanted to belong somewhere and be a part of something. I wanted to have friends I could lean on. I wanted to have an adult who cared for me and who I could count on. When I started high school, my life turned into a, ni into a nightmare. My grades slipped to C's and D's, and I began to struggle with my behavior even more. It got to the point where my family couldn't handle me anymore, so I was put in a foster home for a little while. While, while all this was happening, I felt alone and hopeless with no resources. One day, when I was supposed to be in class, I ran into Mr. Lemke, my avid teacher, and he asked to talk to me. I thought I was in trouble because I wasn't in class, but instead he asked me how I was doing. I looked at him and broke down. I didn't believe in myself and I doubted my future. Mr. Lemke told me, if you have the motivation and the desire to go to college and make something of yourself, you will be successful. I believe in you, Larissa. Do not ever, ever give up. Mr. Lemke pulled up Jonathan Grant Brown's avid story on YouTube, and we watched it together. Jonathan dealt with a lot of the same problems I did. I cried so hard while listening to his story. I realized that if Jonathan can make it through and be successful, than I could too. Huh. I think Mr. Lemke is psychic because he told me he would like to see me up on that stage telling my Abbott story. <laughs> I looked at him and rolled my eyes and said, yeah, right. But in my heart, it was a dream to be up here and inspire people as much as John Jonathan inspired me. I wanted Abbott to change my life. As Mr. Lemke always says, you get out what you put in. Those words finally sunk in my sophomore year and the light bulb turned on. I decided to put everything I had into Abbott and to believe in it with my heart. Abbott ignited the fire of determination in me. I have grown both academically and behaviorally. I am no longer focused on misbehaving. Now, I am focused on my schoolwork and taking Cornell notes whenever I can. Yeah, beloved. <laughs> In AVID, we have a routine for every day of the week. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we work on college planning and learn new academic skills. Tutorials are every Tuesday and Thursday, which have helped tremendously with my honors and AP classes. Our avid tutors are great. They challenge us to do better, work harder, and ask questions for a presenter instead of just giving the answer. We have a, bi we have a binder check every Friday, and that has helped me to be much more organized. Avid also helps us outside of the classroom. We participate in extracurricular activities, college camps, and volunteering. As a matter of fact, over the past two years, I volunteered over 200 hours helping others in my community and beyond. Then there...
Then there is the Abbott family, which has been there for me through everything. When I have a tough week, my family is there to encourage me and recognize even my smallest accomplishments. My Abbott family made my 16th birthday an unforgettable birthday because they threw me a surprise party. Our Abbott family is a true family because I know that if I am struggling, I can lean on them. Not to mention, if I want to have fun, I can count on them. <laughs> no longer will people tell me I will not graduate high school or go to college. No longer will anyone tell me I will end up in jail or in a mental institution. No longer am I afraid of my, of my future or where I am headed. Instead, I have to worry about protecting my eyes because my future is extremely bright. <laughs> Abbott has given my eyes something to focus on and my heart something to hope for. After I graduate, I hope to attend the University of Wisconsin in River Falls. I plan to be a teacher like Mr. Lemke and work my way up to be an administrator like my assistant principal and mentor, Ms. Ellison. Mr. Lemke and Ms. Ellison, can you please stand? You two have done more than changed my life. You've saved it. I wouldn't be the person I am without you two by my side. When I am a teacher, I want to make an impact on my students as much as Mr. Lemke. He is the dorkiest person you will ever meet. <laughs> he always has a smile on his face and is always joking around. However, he always seems to know when I am struggling or just need to talk. He didn't give up on me. Mr. Lemke was always there to help me see the positive things that I was doing. And I would always tell him to stop. He would say, how dare I be positive, huh? <laughs> All I could do was roll my eyes. Those are the kinds of things I love most about my avid teacher, Mr. Lemke. He always knows how to put a smile on my face and keep pushing me. I hope I can someday be as good of a teacher as him. I already know I'll be saying dorky things to my students just like he does every day. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll even be an avid teacher. Thank you. Before I introduce our next speaker, we have a little surprise for you, Larissa. In your speech, you mentioned how deeply you were impacted by hearing another avid alum's story. It is my honor to welcome to the, that avid alum to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Grant Brown. Lisa, I was so moved by, um, by your essay when we were going through the application process and um, I got to read it at a very important point in my life when I needed uh, some motivation. So I wanted to thank you for your inspiration, not only to me, but to thousands of educators around the country. And so I thought I'd personally come out here and thank you <laughs> thank so much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 